This is from uh, NBC Miami. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has signed a bill that will allow squatters in the state to be immediately evicted. DeSantis signed the bill HB 621 during a news conference Wednesday in Orlando, promising that Florida is ending the squatter scam. Before the bill, squatters were considered to be tenants and a process was required to evict them. But now this bill uh, strips squatters of those rights. Lawmakers overwhelmingly passed the bill, which allows law enforcement to immediately remove squatters who don't have a lease authorized by the owner of the property. And here is uh, Governor DeSantis talking about this bill. But all the more reason why what we did last week to make sure we're not going to allow these squatters to commandeer private property is really important. Because you do have people that will live here seven, eight months of the year. Maybe they live, go to Maine or New York or even can We got a lot of Canucks that come down here and own property. So you're gone for the whole summer. And again, this isn't most Floridians, but there we probably have more in our state that, that, that do that than just about any other state. You go and then you come back four months later and someone sets up shop in your house and then they're asserting rights against you. And then in some of these states, the property owner is the one that actually gets arrested when there's a confrontation. That's absurd. You don't have a right to squat in somebody's property. And so if you try to squat in the state of Florida, uh, the homeowner has a very quick remedy. You call the sheriff, and you guys will have a sheriff soon uh, here in this county. You call the sheriff, they send people and they evict the squatters from your residence. That's the way it should be. That's how private property rights work. Uh, the thing I love about this and so much of what DeSantis does is, first of all, he proves that the solutions, in fact, to most of these problems are very simple. Uh, so w w there's so many problems we have in society that we're, we're told, you know, the, the, those in charge, the powers that be, the elites will tell us that, well, there's no simple solution. Uh, you know, we're kind of stuck with this. There's nothing we can really do about it. Uh, yeah, you might think this. You might think there's a solution, but there really isn't. And uh, there are so many other, uh, whatever you try to do, there's so many side effects of that that we're really we're stuck with this. We can't do anything about it. Um, and then just, you, you have a, when you have an effective leader like DeSantis come along, he, he proves that, oh, no, it's actually a simple solution. Just, just It's like it's easy to prove that someone is squatting in your residence and they don't belong there. Very easy to prove. And if you can prove it, then... You just have them kicked out. That's it. You have law enforcement come. They got to break down the door, break down the door. Uh, and then, you know, the, really the squatter should have to pay for it, whatever damage is done. And you just drag them out. That's it. Like, we don't need to sit around talking about, well, what do we do? There's someone in this house and they, they, they want to be in the house, but they don't belong there. What do we do about that? I don't know what to do. You drag them out and you bring them to jail. That's, that's the solution. It's so simple. And um, any claim that it's not as simple as that is belied by uh, someone like DeSantis who says, okay, well, this is what we're going to do. There you go. No more squatting. Not a problem anymore. Does it make sense that the same company that controls half of online retail also passively eavesdrops on your private conversations at home? It's time to put a layer of protection between your online activity and these tech juggernauts, and that's why I use ExpressVPN. Think about how much of your life is on the internet already. Sadly, every site you visit, emails you send and receive, videos you watch or messages you send to get tracked and data mined. But when you run ExpressVPN on your device, the software hides your IP address so that big tech can't use it to identify you personally. ExpressVPN makes your activity harder to trace and sell to advertisers. ExpressVPN also encrypts 100% of your internet data to keep you safe from hackers and eavesdroppers on your network. What I like most about ExpressVPN is how easy it is to use. All you got to do is download the app on your phone or computer, Tap one button and you're protected. It's that simple. Stop handing over your personal data to the big tech monopoly that mines your activity and sells your information. Protect yourself with the VPN I trust to keep me safe online. Visit expressvpn.com slash Walsh. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash Walsh to get three extra months free. Go to expressvpn.com slash Walsh right now to learn more. And that's the great thing about uh, Ron DeSantis and why we need many more Republican leaders like him, where there's a problem. This is this is the way it shouldn't be shocking to have a Republican governor that does this. That a Republican governor that sees there's a problem and says, oh, um, okay, well, we'll solve that. We'll pass a law. And you know, like laws do matter. You you can actually fix a lot of problems by with a law. Okay. You can't fix every problem with a law, and you can't fix any problem absolutely perfectly, but you can you can go, it could go a long way. Imagine that, having laws and then inf and then enforcing those laws with the people that you pay to enforce laws, law enforcement. I, wow, it's like it, it really works. 
which, which is more evidence that decline is a choice. Um, and that and that the kind of uh, lawless anarchy that you see in many places of the country is a choice. It doesn't have to be that way. And so at least Ron DeSantis identifies the problem and solves it. But that is just not something that enough conservatives value. I think that normal people, whether they identify as conservatives or not, who are just like living their lives, they value it, of course. You know, they value a leader who sees problems and tries to fix it and is always working to like make your life but they want to make it they want to make your life better okay our political leaders it's it's not their you know they're not the primary ones in charge of making your life better you have to take charge of that yourself but that should be their overarching goal um, and I think normal people appreciate that but in particular, I guess I would say the kind of commentariat, the conservative commentariat, the pundits and so on, uh, don't value it enough, are not nearly as impressed as they should be by conservative leaders who actually accomplish things. And why is that? I think one of it is that it's just, it's, it, it's not as interesting. You know, the solution to the problem is not as interesting as the problem. There's, there's not as much to talk about. And I think for a lot of conservatives, they, 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 honest to God, they'd rather have the problem to complain about than the solution. And um, that alone explains some of the negative reception or the kind of uh, lukewarm or indifferent reception that DeSantis has received. Hey, YouTube, thanks for listening to the show. If you'd like access to my full show with no ads, you should go to dailywire.com and use promo code Walsh to get two months free on all annual plans. See you there.